What is going on y'all? Uh, James from Shinamarker Enterprises back here with another video. Um, first off, my sincerest apologies for the lack of content over the last month or so. Um, we'll just lump this one under the bucket of life happens. Uh, new job, been traveling a lot, bowling a lot. Um, just kind of YouTube kind of had to got, get pushed to the side for a little bit in there. So apologies, uh, been a bit, but I am back. Actually, it is about 5.30 right now on Monday evening. Uh, I am en route to Buffalo Lanes Irwin by way of a friend's house uh, to bowl in a five game or bowl in a sport sweeper. Uh, we're bowling on Kegel Abbey Road down at Buffalo Lanes Irwin. Uh, this is a tournament series that I have very much enjoyed bowling uh, last year. They run they run these like once every three-ish weeks for every like late winter or early spring time frame. Uh, it's definitely a great uh, challenge and it's made, it made me a lot better. So I'm excited to bowl these uh, tournaments again. I'm glad they're back. And like I said, we were on Kegel Abbey Road tonight. Uh, so 40 foot, like four to one pattern. Played pretty soft in the practice session last week. Here I think actually looked really good. Uh, but I'm excited for this. So briefly, what I've got in the bag, uh, I've got, uh, well here, let me just drop a picture right here for you to take a look at real quick. I've got a power torque, an alpha crux, an electrify solid with a ton of surface on it, um, an altered reality, a specter, a phase three, um, a Hopkinsville purple hammer, and a plastic ball. Uh, realistically speaking, the, the the purple urethane looked amazing in the practice session last week, so if the lanes are like that, I'm probably going to throw that a ton today. Um, and then if I have to get out of that, then it's probably going to be like the Electrify Solid or the Power Torque to control things. And then as the lanes open up, probably get into the ASIMs or the Phase 3 if I had to take a stab in the dark. Um, as far as goals, and I'm going to keep this brief here, but I'm actually probably going to make an entire separate video or maybe even a video series. I haven't quite decided yet on this topic. Um, the, the mental side of bowling has honestly been a big struggle for me recently. Um, I'm a very driven and very perfectionistic person mentally. And so it's been difficult at times, especially recently, to kind of reconcile the idea of being okay with my performance, even if it's not at 100% output and I'm not winning. That's, that's the best way I can think to describe it. So I've got some kind of like, I guess, performance goals and personal goals for the day today. And this is kind of an example of kind of how I'm trying to reframe things a little bit in my own head. Um, the performance side, uh, I definitely want to cash and I would like to win if possible. Um, so that's kind of my base goal and my stretch goal on the performance side of things. I know this is a pattern that I can hit. I like this building quite a bit. So I like my chances in that regard. Um, the personal side, uh, I think the big thing for me is stay in the moment. I think it's probably the best way I can think to describe it. Like whatever I'm doing, whether it be talking to friends that I haven't seen in a while that I think are gonna be there, or the shot that I'm throwing, whatever it may be, um, I want to be present for that and not be dwelling on the past and not be kicking myself over mistakes I may or may not have made, which I'm human. Unfortunately, those are going to happen. Um, also, these cars are not letting me go, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, it's essentially kind of trying to reframe things in that sense of uh, it, it is okay to not be perfect, essentially. It's an, an, easy, way to, an easy but annoying way to say it at the same time. Um, so again, trying to manage that as best as I can. So anyways, I'm going to pause for right now. Um, try and get some video while I'm bowling tonight. Possibly a few quick uh, update clips. Just kind of filling you in on what's going on as I'm bowling. And then I'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday, which is actually going to be the day before this releases. Um, kind of wrap things up and talk about how everything went. And just kind of a little retrospective on it. So for now, peace. <laughs>
So, shot a 246 game one. Uh, honestly, felt like I threw it pretty well. Had a couple iffy shots where I just kind of got my shoulder around it quick, but I do that with your hand sometimes. So, it's very interesting. Like the people that are just rolling the ball and letting it do the work are the ones that are scoring. So, I'm still playing out with my purple. Uh, I've been giving my power torque a look, and it's looked very good as well. So that's my probably my first bailout look if your thing does go away. But honestly, just because it's going to blend pair to pair so much, as long as the urethane is there, this is what I mean to keep throwing. So, on we go. Halfway in the game, here, I should probably give an update. Uh, somehow shot 300 game two. That is my first sport 300, which is honestly pretty freaking cool. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, tugged the fill ball by a lot, but got away with it, so I'll take that. But yeah, you know, it was a really well executed game, and I got strike bucket double to start game three. So it's got to, what I said earlier in the intro, I'll stay in the moment. So, um, shot, what, 237, game three. Uh, I guess made a 783 for my first three, which is leading by a lot. Um, I think third is like plus 80, and I'm plus 183. So it's been a very, very good day so far. Um, feels like urethane might be close to done. Um, I've gone Swiss Strike, Stuff 9, Blower 10 to start game four. Um, and then after this, I move, I make the turn down to 23 and 24. You move one pair left in this tournament. So I feel I'm close to pulling out resin. Probably my alpha crux. Give that a look, see what I got. time as I predicted right after right after I said urethane might be done I threw a decent shot and it never hooked so urethane was done um had strike nine spare nine spare nine spare three four bailed out to 37 36 or 37 that game um so that puts me at about plus 210 give or take I've lost I've got the pal on my phone right here but whatever um yeah in the alpha and I am on the end pair now which is working instantly so just gotta make a move and trust it for one more game and I'll be qualifying leader going into uh, eliminate the uh, position round.
finished with plus 276. Um, so this format is you bowl five, cut to the top third, and you only bowl two more games, pins carrying over for final position. I am a plus 276, second place is plus 66. So I basically have to not bowl 100, and I'm good. So got a couple minutes of practice, two more games, let's get it. Yeah, first game of elimination round. Um, very glad I have a 200 pin lead because I have 132 in the ninth. I am. I'm not sure what happened to this game, this pair. Um, I think I've thrown four different balls. Everything either just reads instantly or bails down lane. So, thrown my alpha, thrown my phase three, thrown my specter. I threw a shot with my power of torque and it dug in and looked like someone just kicked it sideways, so that makes no sense whatsoever. Um, this is just survival mode at this point, so we had to play this a little bit and figure out what the heck's going on, so let's do it. down to my specter which I'm chalking that up to just I saw something from one fill ball on 23 and 24 which I had a choice of starting pair and I honestly should have picked 23 and 24 um, which is the pair I finished on a shot 250 uh, picked 19 and 20 which is the pair I shot 300 on but this pair is really hard now so instead of going like fourth arrow to eight I'm sliding 19 and uh, piling it out to the two ward so with the specter which makes complete sense but Bowling is weird. I uh, got a spare five back in game two of the position round, or the elimination round, casters round, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, six more good shots. Let's finish this. Alright guys, um, so it is the night after the tournament. I actually just got here to Village Lanes for leagues. So I gotta get in here and shoot up in just a second. But just a quick wrap up for the tournament. Felt like it was a really, really good day. Um, well, obviously I shoot 300 and win by a lot. So yeah, good day. But the, the, personal, the personal goal that I touched on uh, when I talked in kind of the introduction of just being present, staying in the moment, and you know whatever I'm doing, make it count. Um, I feel like I did a really, really good job of that. Um, it's easier to do that when you're striking a lot, which I was for six out of the seven games that I bowled. So do it that what you will. But I had a game plan. It worked out pretty well. Uh, it worked out very well. I um, was able to adjust and adapt as needed, even if I was a little bit slow on the uptake at times. And yeah definitely a good day of bowling so i hope you all have enjoyed the uh coming along for this um definitely let me know if you have any questions i'm not sure i know some of this was a little rough just kind of a first run at doing a tournament vlog but i hope you all have enjoyed it um if you want to see more content like this in the future uh, definitely let me know and until next time good luck and good bowling peace